um, <clears throat> I just want to make a more positive kind of video <laughs> uh, real quick. Um, as you guys know, I've uh, been involved with the Christian community, like uh, full force, you know. Um, I've been going to a ton of uh, of their things, <laughs> a ton of their Christian gatherings, basically, a ton of them. Um, and uh, they're convinced I'm doing what God wants, and I think I am too, even though God has to know. <laughs> He has to know. He's God. He knows I'm at a position uh, where I think it's over <laughs> for me. I, you know what I mean? <laughs> there's not a there's not a professional that can fix me. <laughs> you know, I've concluded. You know. Ultimately, I can't be, um, all the damage that I went through throughout my life can't be undone, basically. Can't be, that's what I'm saying, by no, nobody can fix me. That's what I mean. Um, um, all the damage I took throughout my entire life can't be healed. You know, I've concluded this, and I don't think I'm wrong <laughs> about this, you know, because I have tried to heal it all God knows it <laughs> you know and I feel like I'm just like I can't I can't succeed in this you know um, so anyways <clears throat> I've been going to the, hanging out with the Christians you know um, today I did as well uh, it, it's kind of interesting <laughs> you know I'm, I'm playing pool with the Christians, you know, hanging out um, with a group of other introverts, basically. <laughs> like, it was interesting. Like, all, all of us are, are introverts that were hanging out, you know, together. It was like an introvert <laughs> Christian hangout, <laughs> you know, basically. We were, we're all introverts. Um, and one of them's like, God wanted me to uh, be around people and that's why I'm here you know you wanted me to you know not be isolated basically as an introvert isolated and I'm like I, I believe that's what God has done with me as well you know that's what I was saying like he he brought me out of hiding basically to go to toward with the Christians to be around Christians God did in my opinion he got me out of isolation. <laughs> he didn't want me to follow Jesus in some wilderness, you know, by myself, you know. He wanted me a part of the community, <laughs> you know. Following Jesus in the wilderness, you know, forever doesn't really benefit me, <laughs> you know. God knows it, you know. So he brought, he brought me into the Christian community thinking that would help me uh, heal or whatever, <laughs> you know. And I think it has helped. I do think so. It has. Uh, and, uh, and this is no bullshit. And I don't know if God was talking through this person or not. Like later in the night, I was at a, a men's uh, gathering, um, a prayer night, you know. <laughs> I always pray for the same thing. Like, God, just help me, you know. Yeah, because he, he knows I think I'm fucked. <laughs> he knows I think that. 100% fucked. In many ways. <laughs> you know. You name it. Financial, health, you name it. He he believes that I think it's I'm fucked. Because I thought I'd be, healed. I'd be healed by now. When I'm not. So, <laughs> he knows I'm like, I'm fucked. So, I'm like going to Christian activities thinking that I'm fucked, you know, just like, I'm fucked, but I might as well hang out with some Christians, basically, that's how I am, like, I'm, I'm fucked in life, 
but I might as well hang out with Christians in the meantime. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm like, you know, can't be healed, you know, no matter what I do. <laughs> yeah. No reason to be here. Might as well hang out with Christians, though, in the meantime, play some pool. <laughs> Basically. I know that's bad, but I told I told them that's kind of why I have an, uh, a YouTube channel so to, to like communicate with introverts out there. You know, that's part of the reason I do that. <laughs> a channel. I have a channel for many reasons. <laughs> many reasons I've made a channel. <laughs> you name it. <laughs> you know, all, tons of different reasons I made a channel. Basically, <laughs> has many reasons to making this channel. In the first place. <laughs> Many reasons, you know. <laughs> Draw the enemies to me. Help people that are trying to heal at the same time. Help me to heal in the meantime. You know, maybe build a community at the same time. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it has many. Th this channel has many purposes in my opinion, you know. Even if my life is over, <laughs> it still has many purposes, you know. <laughs> like I said, I thought I'd be healed with a life right by now. You know, I thought I would be. I'm not. <laughs> so I made all these videos thinking that I'd be eventually healed by now. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck. So you can see why I think I'm fucked. <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> I made all these videos and I'm, I'm not even healed right now. I'm not even fully healed. I don't even have a life right now. I'm like, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah. But like I said, a part of me knew that I, I could never be healed. A part of me already knew that, <laughs> no matter what I did. A part of me knew that from the beginning. And I also knew that I don't think God could heal me either. Either one. Me heal me. Professionals heal me. God heal me. I couldn't be healed. You know, I'm like, I went through, I went through way too much in life, <laughs> way too much. Yeah. You, know? you know, even, even God's like, I don't even know how to heal him. <laughs> you went through so much. I don't even know how to heal him at all. <laughs> yeah. You know? But God wouldn't be doing that if uh, I was, uh, <laughs> you know, the same old story. If uh, he would have uh, <laughs> defended me growing up, you know. <laughs> He wouldn't be scratching his head and be like, I don't know how to heal him right now. God wouldn't be confused about how to heal me. All he had to do was like put his hand down, basically block, <laughs> pretty much put his hand down and just like block anybody from fucking targeting me. That's all God had to do. He doesn't, he didn't even have to like be confused right now about how to heal me. There would be no healing road in the first place. If God just would have put his hand down and just said, you know, don't touch this kid. <laughs> Basically, that's go that's all God had to do. <laughs> but obviously he didn't. So. That's why I already knew I could never be healed. <laughs> you know, you know, because, you know, I couldn't defend myself growing up. I guess I can defend myself more now, but I don't even care to defend myself, like I said, anymore. Like, I, I'm like, whoever wants to, you know, you know what I mean? I don't even care. You know, I'm like, I can't be healed anyways. But anyways, enough about that. Um, I was hanging out with the Christians, you know, today. <laughs> and uh, at the men's group, they're noticing my effort. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? They're all noticing my constant, constant effort, my dedication to keep coming to these things, these Christian activities. They're noticing this, you know, and they're they're impressed by it. You know, they are. They're impressed. They think the guy's like, oh, you know, you're succeeding. You know, I'm like, I'm like I said, I'm like, I'm trying, you know, I'm at least trying. You know, In my mind, I'm like, I'm trying, but, at least, you know, I don't, I don't think God can heal me at all, but I'm trying anyways. That's pretty crazy, you know. God knows 
God knows damn well I'm going to these Christian things while knowing he can't heal me all the way. While, while I'm thinking that, like I'm fucked. And I'm going to these Christian things anyways. God knows that at the same damn time. I'm like, my life's over already. <laughs> you know? I've tried everything. <laughs> you know? So God knows that's where I'm at right now. I'm just like, I'm fucked anyways. Might as well go to the Christian activities. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> you know? Keep my mind off shit. <laughs> I think that's one of the reasons, like, you know, God has me keep on going to these Christian things, you know, to keep my mind off shit, you know, keep my mind, you know, busy outside of my head, you know, that's one of the reasons, I think, but, but anyways, like, I don't know if God was talking through this guy or not, but um, he's like, you're succeeding, you know, you're not just trying, you're succeeding, you know. You know, my efforts, you know, because they've noticed my efforts, you know, because I've gone to, you know, I've, I've been super dedicated to like going to every single thing I can go to every single Christian activity thing I I, I go to, <laughs> even if so, even if I feel weird around how they uh, worship and all that, even if I think some of it's weird, I don't care, I still go, <laughs> you know. But anyways, but it's an interesting position I'm in, you know. I'm coming back to God. But at the same time, I don't think he can heal me all the way. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a weird position. I'm like, that's completely where I'm at at this point in time. <laughs> completely. I'm like, you know, you know, God has drawn me in. But he can't heal me all the way, you know, of all the damage I've taken in my life. He can't heal it. But I'm coming to him. Anyways, I'm coming towards him. It's a weird position. You know, it, it, it's like the beat up uh, prodigal son coming back. But the father sees the damage that the son has taken. This is it. You know, he sees, he sees all the damage that his son has taken over all the years and he's like I can't heal this all at once <laughs> you know what I mean I'm sorry that's how I feel like God's like I can't heal you all at once it's like you want I'm sorry there's just there's the damage just just too extensive and that's how I feel God is telling me which I, I already knew the bad news you know <laughs> I'm like yeah you know I took a lot of damage in life I know you know, it was a, it was a fool's hope, you know, <laughs> like in Lord of the Rings, you know, it, it was a fool's hope to think that God could heal me instantly. It was just a fool's hope, really, you know, a dream, you know, not reality. <laughs> so, um, that's just kind of where I'm at, just like, I came, I'm coming back to God, but he's like, I don't think I can heal you all the way instantly like you want you know and that's kind of how I feel like just kind of gotten the bad news you know <laughs> you know what I'm saying but uh, so it's a weird it's a weird position you know but at the same time uh, you know Christians tell me that I'm succeeding in my efforts you know going to the activities and stuff but it's it's a weird position to be in think about it think about this if you were in my shoes uh, you you already know no hospital can fix you you already know that no hospital can fix you you already know that <laughs> the damage you've taken so you can't go to the hospital. They can't fix you, the damage. You already know that. So that's out of the way. You've tried all these professionals. 
outside of hospitals to try to heal you, fix you. That didn't work either. So that's out of the way. You tried all these metaphysical things to try to heal you. That didn't fully work either. So that's out of the way. So basically, all these things to heal me, I've tried. They're out of the way. I can't go anywhere. So the last option I'm doing, no joke, is going to the Christian church and hoping God can heal me somehow. It's the last job. It's the last hurrah. It is. <laughs> it's the last hurrah for me. Going to the Christian church is the last hurrah. God knows it. <laughs> it's the last hurrah for me. 100%. That's how it feels. It's like the last. You know? It's like, I'll, I'll do this and maybe, maybe God will, maybe he'll heal me. Maybe. Maybe God will heal me if I participate in the Christian activities. Maybe. That's where I'm at. But it does feel like a last hurrah. Like I said, no hospital can fix you. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't even go to a hospital to fix you. Cause, you know, God knows I've tried that. <laughs> Doesn't work. It didn't fix me. You know what I mean? I've tried many things, like I said. You know. To the point where the last option, the last resort, the last resort <laughs> is going to Christian activities. No bullshit. It's the last hurrah resort for me. <laughs> Without, with, instead of, instead of like ending my life, basically, I'm choosing this Christian route instead. That's exactly what's happened and what I'm doing. It's exactly what I'm doing. God knows it, you know. And instead, of, instead of calling it quits on myself, I'm going to these Christian things, activities. And maybe, maybe that'll help. And maybe it has, you know. I don't know, you know, I'm not sure, you know, it's a weird position I'm in, <laughs> I'm like, because God knows I'm exhausted, not just from working over all these years, you know, trying to stay afloat and <laughs> trying to heal myself through different methods, <laughs> I'm exhausted from all that, but at the end of all that, all of those years in exhaustion, Imagine that you still are not where you thought you'd be after all that effort. <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. That's what I face. Because God knows I put I put a huge effort, huge effort to get me to this point. Huge. And the fact that I, re I realize I'm still not where I thought I would be is a huge letdown. <laughs> you know what I mean? Huge letdown to me, you know. To the point, to the point where, like, <laughs> if anybody comes comes charging at me with, the, you know, trying to take me out, I I wouldn't I wouldn't fight them. That's how disappointed I am, <laughs> you know. No bullshit. That's how disappointed I am. I wouldn't fight anybody that tries to take me out. I won't stop them. <laughs> You know, that's how disappointed I am right now. But, <laughs> you know, Jesus says, turn the other cheek. I've done that most of my life. Turning the other cheek cost me everything. It did. <laughs> Turning the other cheek and not doing anything cost me everything. God knows it. Turning the other cheek fucked me. Not fighting back, not defending myself ever. That's why I'm screwed. Because I never, I never did anything. I just took it. God knows it, you know. I turned the other cheek, like multiplied a million. <laughs> I've turned the other cheek, like multiplied a million. <laughs> That's how much I turned the other cheek, <laughs> you know. I turned the other cheek and kept my mouth shut for years, you know. 
That's what I did. You know, thinking if I talked, even God would strike me down. You know, if I talked against religion, you know, even God would strike me down. That's what I thought most of my life. So I kept my mouth shut most of my life, you know. I really turned the other cheek. I kept my mouth shut against everything, everybody, to keep the peace, you know, to not rock the boat of God's kingdom, <laughs> you know. God forbid I talk about what happened to me, you know, out in the open. You know, God forbid I talk about the abuse in religion, in God's religion. God forbid I do that, you know. When it should have been God that stood up for me the whole damn time. But no. In the end, it was it's me talking for myself. On videos, it's me talking up for myself. Not God talking up for me. Not once did God speak up for me for most of my life. It's me talking up for me. <laughs> so I'm just like, so in reality, I guess I really don't have any fathers. <laughs> in the end, it's me talking for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm my own damn father. <laughs> you know, I speak up for me now. God didn't talk for me once in his life. Not once did God speak up for me. Not once did he speak up for me. Not once. Still doesn't talk in a loud voice of any kind. God does. Still. Talks through different ways. All these different ways God talks through. But never spoke up for me in a loud voice. <laughs> Ever. Growing up, never spoke up for me. Never. Not like, hey, this is my son, back the fuck off. God never did that. Not once did he do that. He never said, that's my son, back the fuck off. Not once. How do I know? I was there most of my life. I was in this body most of my life. God didn't speak up for me. Like I said, that's why I thought, that's why I thought he didn't give a fuck at all. That's why it's confusing right now. It is. That God cares, seems like God cares. Now, you know what I'm saying? After all the dust settled, after all the ashes were on the ground, God cares now. That's exactly what happened. God shows up for me. You know. Didn't show up for me growing up. But he shows up for me now. See how that's confusing?